Okay, so uh, let's do a quick video on how to use the FIB extension key inside a trend. So I've got some charts up here. We'll just go over here to the Euro US dollar. You can see I've got a trend. It's pretty flat here on the Euro, but I'm up on a 240 chart, okay? And we're going to use the Fibonacci extension key. Alright, so uh, the thing is that once you know that the trend is up or down, doesn't matter what, what you're looking for is how to find the targets as it continues the trend. And uh, one of the great ways to do it is the Fibonacci extension tool. So how do we do it? Well, we click on three points. We click on the first move, the first where the bottom is, up to the very first move of, uh, uh, of the movement. We click there, and then we go drop it back down to the first retracement, okay? And that's very important to go to that very first retracement because this is what they're basing their targets off in the future, okay? And as you can see right here that, uh, you know, we went up to the 1270, we went right to the 1.617, we pulled all the way back here, and when we went up again, back up to the 618, and ultimately up to the 2.618 target up here. Now, what's interesting here is there's still a target up above here. It's the 4.236 up here, as you can see. And so if we continue this move to the upside, we'll have to break out of this trend or the trend will change. All right. So, um, you know, if we were to get a movement, you know, let's say down into this area right in here and then bounce up to here, then we could actually adjust the trend like this. You know, kind of out like this, and you would be able to capture that 4.236 because this is a very, very flat trend as you can see right here. Okay, so uh, you know, there's there's one aspect of it right here. Let's go uh, right next door and look at the British pound right here. All right, and um, you know, I'm just here on a 60 minute because it's easier to see. We get up to the 240 on this one, you know, it's too short, so that's why I brought it down to the 60 here. You can see we've got a pretty well, uh, tr a good trend built right here. Uh, but the same thing is true here. Um, you know, this is not a very good angle here. So how do we find the targets where this is trying to go to, or when we were over here? In fact, let's just pull it back. Let's say that we're we're back here. We've developed the trend. We know it's going up. How can we find out where this is going? Once again, we use the Fibonacci extension tool. We take the first movement of the bottom of the trend up to the top of this movement here, right here, and then down to the very first, okay, the very first extension right there. And we can see there's the 786, the 127, the 1.618, that thing right there. So when we bounce off that bottom there, notice we go right to the 786, right up to the 1.270, pull back, and if we're going to continue, there's back up to the 1.270, right up to the 1.618, okay? And, uh, you know, that's where we are. at a strong pullback. So if we're going to continue this, the very same thing would happen. Uh, we have a tool in our chart uh, called HSI, which allows us to find these targets pretty quick. And so we just click on the bottom here and just say, be a buyer and tell us where they are. And you can see that the market, what it does is it rounds off these extensions and puts historical support and resistance in. And you can see it knew where that was, knew where that one was. And so this would be our next one with the confluence of the of the uh, trend line here with the 2.610 as an outer extreme target if we uh, continue in this trend. Pretty easy to see that. All right, let's take a little tougher one. That's the Euro Yen, which is a, usually a little choppier, as you can see. I'm up on a 240-minute chart. We've got a trend uh, built here. Let's take it back again once once more so that we're seeing how we do this. Okay, so there's two points. There's a third point, so we know we have a trend. We're making higher lows. So how do we find the targets? Once again, we use the Fibonacci extension tool down from the, from the point A up to point B, B first, and then down to the first retracement. Okay, and that gives us this 270618 and the 2.618 target up here. All right, so as the market moves uh, to those, notice how it goes right to the 1.618 and stops right there. Why? Because everybody knows where that number is. Okay, and then we break, we're going to the 2.610. Notice where we stop right at the 2.618 uh, target right there. Once again, we've got a big target up there at 4.236. So, once again, if we were to, to break and go, then we would um, be uh, looking at trying to get to that target. Once again, I'll just show you the HSI because it's a, it's a miraculous tool. It, it rounds out all this stuff and finds them with one click. Boom. And you can see that, uh, once again, we knew exactly where this was going. We knew exactly where this was going. And we know exactly where this was trying to go right there. All right. So you see that. And if we break to the higher level, there's the the, the 6 resistance above the 4.236. So, you know, Fibonacci extensions don't have to be that difficult. You just have to spend some time practicing on them. The key is that you have to have three points. You have to have a A, a B, and a C. 
And remember, that's right over here. This is the A. That's the start of it. B is the first movement up. C is the is the retracement that does not make it to the bottom right here. See that? And then that gives you your targets. And all these moves over here and this and all this are based off of these three points, point one, point two, and point three. So, hope that helps you.